Coming out here, it's like joining the army in the sense of that's one of the reasons I did it. I'm too old to join the army, but I can throw myself in this situation where you have to be disciplined Certainly. to do it. Yeah. And that's definitely one of the reasons why I did it. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, what is that? We're going to stop at the bakery, you guys, and we'll stop just for about five minutes. overnight at Cutthroat Peak from lightning yesterday from the lightning storms. We got helicopters, we got a tanker coming in dropping retardant. We had to be let in to get uh, Joe's tent uh, and there's law enforcement and forest service. Cutthroat Lake Trail uh, fire up above on the ridge and we were able to get our tent and get out. Walk all the way up here, and now they have the sign. Trail closed due to wildfire. Dang it. Well, I'm trying to hitch a ride on Highway 20 to Mazami. but there's no cars. Trail's closed. Due to fire, this sucks. Boy, there's lots of traffic on this road. This should be an easy hitch, yeah. I've never seen a highway deserted like this. And the highway is open. I heard a car about 10 minutes ago. Hold on, 
now We're going home If we make it or we don't We won't be alone When I see you like you We started off in a really small RV It was just a van, yeah. basically We thought, well, hey, we can do this, you know I mean, you should most of the time Yeah But now that we've been doing it a long time we Four, five, six, seven, eight Nine, oh, ten, eleven. I wow. see eleven or twelve. Wow, that's the most I've seen. Ten adults and a bunch of babies. Look at all that. Even more. Wow. I heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they look Dude, fun. that is nuts. Look how strong <laughs> those things look. Look at the back legs. They look like camels. Yeah. yeah. Look at that guy just staring at us. Yeah. Like, What's up? Give a spot. We're just trying to find it. Escape route. It's like we're good, dude. We're good. Get get back up here, little guy. There we go. Come on, get back up here. Oh, this will be good on the slope. Everyone knows it. I'm a scientist. I was just saying, like I was telling him about how when you're behind somebody, you see their name. July 1st and uh, just above Hearts Pass after being dropped off there had to uh, hitch into Mazama last night around the trail closure at Rainy Pass unfortunately missing 25 miles of trail but that's the way it goes and it's nice and cool right now and we're in the sun it's beautiful 65 degrees so that uh, yurt that's there is apparently for uh, skiers in the winter time they bring them up and they do hella skiing down these slopes and stay there this used to be also mined apparently uh, back to the turn of the century and there's some roads and paths that you can see there was a town down at the bottom to the left down there I've been told and um, it was a mining town and they mine gold out of here mainly of course that's all done now that this is park off in the distance it's safe to say that we are looking at Canadian mountains I can see Canada. Okay, so now we got another fire. Right down the valley where we're going. Great. I think we're a little bit west of that. But all we can do is try. I made up my mind. It is uh, Wednesday, August 1 today, and uh, we have about, well, 18 miles to the border of Canada. So hopefully the fires aren't going to affect us. They should be behind us now. If you're waiting all your life, you won't ever go. When I see Take care, all the best, happy trails. Just met a group of outward bound hikers. They've been out for 51 days doing a course. There's quite a few of them actually, They're from all over. They do uh, various training, rock climbing and um, scrambling up mountains, cutting trails and then of course hiking the PCT which is like a highway as far as trails are concerned
we're going home If we make it or we don't, we won't be alone When I see your light shine, I know I'm home If you're waiting all your life, you won't ever go I'm at the top of Rocks Pass this morning, Thursday, August the 2nd. Ah, and I have uh, sort of have mixed feelings this morning. I um, kind of want to be done to get back home, I guess, and, well, for sure, and see people again that I really miss. But uh, the idea of uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day getting up and not being here not being uh packing up and hitting the trail and walking i just uh oh it's weird it's going to uh be an adjustment almost i just uh, i just love this i could just take the border and turn around and go back I mean, as long as uh, conditions are like this, with all of that trail, I'm sitting up here looking down at that endless trail going back down into the valley. I, I mean, I can't wait to pack this stuff up and just get hauling again. I am very thankful that I was able to do this and get this far. Maybe my body will hold out long enough that I can do this uh, some more again another section another year cannot believe how straightforward and how easy this is and has been mainly because of the generosity and kindness of every single person that I've ran into on the trail and off the trail people that just want to give you stuff that want to support you that want to encourage you that uh, and everybody out here just knows what they're doing yeah so that's kind of how I feel this morning I am only 14 miles from the border um, 13.6 and I will be crossing the line the monument Sign in the little book, take a couple of pictures, and then proceed another eight miles, and I'm done. Not a bad place to eat. And that's Snacks Southbound. see your light shine, I know I'm home. If you're waiting all your life, you won't ever go. When I see your light shine,